HRV is like an interesting signal. Higher HRV for that individual's age is supposed to be healthier in the sense that this person has a higher capacity to respond from a sympathetic, parasympathetic standpoint. In sleep apnea, we typically look at what is a cyclic variation in heart rate to apneic responses. And what we should typically see is if the apnea is well treated, there should be a reduction in the cyclic variation in heart rate. What happens to HRV? That's I think it's it's a different metric and it might be measured a little bit differently, but HRV, if you just look at it as a as a bucket, as like an isolated thing, higher HRV is supposed to be good. Lower HRV is supposed to be a, a, a bad prognostic sign. Like people who have heart failure in, in that cohort of individuals, heart failure plus low HRV is a bad sign, but heart failure plus high HRV is not necessarily as bad.